We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cincinnati Reds and the San Diego Padres. The Reds have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. Luis Patino will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has really good stuff. And when he's commanding his off-speed pitches like he was in his last one, he threw the ball really well, picking up the win and allowing only two runs. If he brings that stuff back in this one, it could be back-to-back -back powerhouse performances. That is her, the left fielder. So coming to the plate, Eddie James. The early season numbers look very good as he is up over 400 here to begin the campaign. This guy's off to a blazing start, the kind of start we all expected. I think he'll be right up there on the leaderboards at the end of the season. And he is in there. Striding in, Kyle Lewis, cool. and he's looking to get it's it going. Good. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. He's set. Here's the 3-0. And he misses First with it. Ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Now at the plate, Dylan Cousins. He was one for four in Sunday's affair. Dylan. The 0-2 delivery. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. Come on, get out, get out, get out. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. That's a spot right there as a pitcher where you'll trade in out for a run anytime. Base is loaded, and only one run scores on the sacrifice fly. So digging in now, Austin Riley. That's and now the Reds look to push more across the plate in Austin the opening frame. Riley. Here's a pop-up now. Tellez is there, and the side is retired. Reds will be forced. Now to the plate, now Eddie James. He singled his last Eddie. time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Hey, nice trip, big dog. Base hit into right he got center. It, it. And this Come one on, scoots dig, 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 all the hard. way to the wall. And both runners will score as they've taken the lead here at 3 to 1. Man, he was not messing around here. Sitting on the first pitch he saw and drove it to the outfield, bringing in both runners and putting himself into scoring position. It's great to see a guy that's aggressive at the plate when he's got a chance to do some damage. So striding forward now, now Kyle back. Lewis. He drew a base on balls his Kyle. first time. Lewis. Now a pickoff play at second, and they got him. Stepping in, Eddie James. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. Line drive to left. Nice job, that a baby. Way to go. Yeah. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Marte ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He scores as they push the lead to five now. Wow, he's getting a visit from the pitching coach, but I think it's a little too late for him to turn things around. I mean, he's given up six runs, so I'm not sure how much the talking is going to help. He just doesn't have it today. Digging in now, Kyle Lewis, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Kyle Lewis. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Runner's on his way to third. High in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So striding in, Eddie James. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. First offering on its way. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Looking up is the right fielder. Gone! Big dog's got to eat.
So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field, number 14 on the season, as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in is the veteran third baseman, Manny Machado. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Next to the plate for the Padres, Luis Camposano. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Hit in the air out to left. Relay, 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 relay. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. One of the things you want to do is an offense. Two outs now in the San Diego seventh, and that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. And he popped him up. And that's in there. Base hit. Three, three, three. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right. Digging in now for San Diego. Up Tirsa Ornelas. So far, two no, for three here. in this one. Tirsa Ornelas. Hey, see ya. Swing and a looper to left. In comes the left fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. One run is scored. And he's out on the tag. But one run does come in to score on the play before the inning comes to an end. So it's one run on four hits, one error, and two men left on base. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Reds out in front, 10 to 6. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Eddie James he bats with a homer and two doubles to his credit. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Runners are at first and third with none out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Ready with the 0-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Hey, talk about having a productive inning. You like to see that. You like to add on runs anytime. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. Fouled off. Travis is off of first with two they away. Hit hard on the ground to second. Newman fields it cleanly. Yes. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Reds leave one, but they still manage to hold a four-run lead. Digging in, Luis Camposano earned now himself an RBI Hector. with a sack fly Luis. his last time at the plate. Camposano. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the it's left it's side. It's James comes on hey, no now run, and no puts run. it away for the second out of the inning. Wow, that was a fun one to watch. A great game for guys with the sticks, but 
for pitchers? <laughs> Not so much. A classic slugfest, and they walk away on top in the end. 13 to 11, the final score here. The Reds led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Tom Lim notches his third win of the year. Luis Patino permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. We are under the lights as the show now, gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Daddy Tonight, Diego an intriguing Padre. matchup between the Cincinnati Reds and the San Diego Padres. The Reds look for their seventh straight victory next. John Means will be the man on the mound for the Friars. What do we need to know here, Danny? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through the stats, and one thing jumped out at me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not afraid to throw strikes, and two, when he does throw strikes, he throws quality, and he still gets people out. It'll that be fun hurt. to watch this guy work in this you. one today. Eddie James. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Reds are down in order. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Ready now for Cincinnati. Eddie James. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swung on and crushed. Everyone just stands there and watches it fly. A solo shot here to left. Home run number 15 for him thus far. As the Reds strike first, it's one to nothing. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and that'll bring in Manny Machado. The third baseman, Manny. Pulled high in the air out to left field. James is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall. A home run. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game, and it stakes the Reds to a 4-2 to lead. Well, that was this lineup's third homer of the game. You know, d Row looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Into the box go. now, the Eddie James. He'll swing it from the left Eddie. side right here. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. Ladies One left for Cincinnati. Time. They're for still the out in front, 5-2. to two. Ready now, Tirso Ornelas. 0-for-1 for, 1 for him here in this one. 
Tirso. The 1-1. One, one. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Onto the third floor balcony and gone. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. The Cincinnati Reds wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Darren McCowan notches his third win of the year. Phil Maton wraps it up for the save, his eighth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Cincinnati Reds, six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Padres, four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Cincinnati Reds and the San Diego Padres. The Reds are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Zach Logue, an Ohio-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Boy, talk about a guy that's hard to score off of. Last three starts, an ERA of under one. So if you think you're going to score a lot of runs off this guy, you better get him early because once he settles in, he's awfully tough. And Matty V, this is one of the top pitchers in the sport right now. The left fielder, Eddie. Yeah. Out in front of a fastball as this is oh, ripped down the left field line. Running. That's going to be a fair ball. ball. Around first, he's digging for second. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with that relative ball, ease. Right here, right Standing in, Dylan. Dylan Cousins. He's looking to get things hey, going at the plate. Fly. It has not been going his way of All late. Right, stand up, Machado stand up. is there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And it's fouled away. Third inning, no score to this point. Hey, come on now. One time, right here. Get up, bro. Get up. On the line, that's a base hit in the left field. Now a long throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here, they strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. 
Into the box now, now Dylan back. Cousins. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is. Stand up, right this here. one Stand gets up. through, and that could bring in a run. And he is in there at the plate. It's now a 2 nothing game. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Settling in now, Sam Travis. The first baseman, Sam Travis. Hey, see, hey, drive it. Here we go. A decent guy. lead at second. Here's the pitch. Get out, Hard get on the out, ground fly. towards short. And that's through into left, a base hit. And the run will score from second here as this is now a 3 nothing game. That's a grind pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate, and this batter's able to bite and keep his hands inside this base. Digging in the switch hitter, Eddie James. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And that one is gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Number 17 for him on the season as the Reds have now taken a 4 to nothing lead. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Hits two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to hit. Now at the plate, Eddie James, and he's got a shot at history Eddie. here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Fouled away. Come on, big guy. See that? Drive it right back up the box. Let's Into go. the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Toward the gap in right center, this is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And this will bang up against the wall. And he'll pull hey, into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Now back. So stepping in, Dylan Cousins. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. And that's in there. Base hit. The run scores from second. Make it 5-1. to one. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four and you know that same situation's gone out the window. Striding into the box, Francisco Mejia. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. It doesn't look very promising so far on this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. James has to run aways before he gets there in time to record the out. How about that? And with one away, today, of course, Jackie Robinson Day around Major League Baseball. We had a nice ceremony before the game in honor of number 42 as his legacy lives on to this day. So coming to the plate, Eddie James. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. One time right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Center fielder looking up. Still going back. Gone. Big dogs got to eat. Solo shot to right center. His second of the game. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game.
Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. 7-1 to one the final today. Cincinnati led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Trevor Bauer wins his third of the season as he gives up only one hit in five innings of work. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line. The final line.